In this video, let's discuss what's happening in the long run in a competitive market. And before we discuss it on this graph, let's actually work a bit with the reactions that happen from the short run to the long run. Recall what happens in the short run. In the short run, our economic profit, which is the difference between accounting profit and the opportunity cost, is positive. So we already saw in the previous video that when we have a positive economic profit, by definition, it means that our accounting profit is better than the opportunity cost. And to play without your, ex to, to work without with our example here, that means that the profit from selling apples is better than the profit of selling the alternative of bananas. That's what we said. Now, what happens as a natural thing is that for the banana producers, they're going to see that apples are more profitable. So they are going to start selling apples as well. So we're going to have a shift from bananas into apples, produces from bananas into apples. What happens is that the supply of apples, the quantity supplied of apples in the market is going to go up, which will drag down the price of apples. And we can see here that now the price is only two dollars, whereas before in the short run, it used to be five. Now this will happen, this adjustment, this entry of new companies in the market will happen as long as, as long as these get into equilibrium, as long as they are, they are indifferent between the profit of apples and the profit of bananas. Because again, think of it by definition, if apples are more profitable, there's an incentive to go there. If apples become less profitable, there's an incentive to go to the other side, to bananas. But when they become equal, there's an indifference point. There's a point in equilibrium where indeed everyone selling apples and everyone uh, else is selling bananas because they're making the same amount of money. So there's no reason to switch between the two. Now let's suppose, let's suppose that that happens to be at the price level of $2 and let's say that that satisfies a demand of 8 kilos, uh, of 8 kilos. So a company can sell, can sell 8 kilos of apples at that specific price for that specific demand in the market. And because we're speaking about the long run and we spoke about this indifference condition between selling apples and selling bananas, let's just work out with the math a bit here to see what that actually means. If we have this equation holding between accounting profit and opportunity cost. If accounting profit is equal to the opportunity cost, meaning the, the profit from apples is equal to the profit from bananas, we can see mathematically that the difference between them is going to be zero. So by definition, that means a zero economic profit. Economic profit equals to zero. So that's the condition for the long run. And one thing I'm stressing here to keep in mind, something that's very confusing, and it was confusing for me as well, is to understand that Economic profit is not the money that we keep in the pocket. So it's not zero money for us. We have actual positive accounting profit. We make money from selling apples, but it's the same as we could be making from selling bananas. That's the whole intuition here. Now, how can we prove this graphically that the economic profit is zero? We can see that on the graph that happens to be at the minimum point of the long run average cost. Why is that at the minimum long run average cost? Well, because if we take into account that profit would be for the whole quantity that we're selling, the profit indeed would be the difference that we are charging between the price for the apple and the average cost of the apple. So if the average cost per kilo of apple is, let's say $1, right? And we're selling it at $2, then we're making a profit, a markup of $1 per kilo of apple. So this we multiply with the quantity of apples that we're selling. And because we are in the long run, we are making the profit in the apple market the same as in the bananas market. So we want to have we want to have a zero economic profit. This average cost is including the opportunity cost. Keep that in mind. And by definition, to make this zero, if we want to have zero economic profit, this can only happen if the price is equal to the average cost in the long run. And that happens to be that happens to be at the minimum at the minimum of, of the long run average uh, cost. Now, one more thing that we have to keep in mind, why would the long run average cost fall and then rise? Well, let's work with intuition again. It falls initially because the fixed costs are spread over the quantities that we're selling. The fixed costs are spread over the quantities. But after the certain point, after we spread it for a lot of quantities, for a lot of apples, the fixed cost per apple becomes very close to zero. So there's no more spread there. All the additional costs that we're having are becoming from the variable cost 
per unit. So since we have positive variable cost of production beyond a certain point that drags up, that drags up the long run average cost, that drags up the average cost again because the variable cost is positive, the fixed cost on average becomes almost zero. So a positive number will just make this value positive. It will make it uh, increasing again. Hope this makes sense. And the last thing that we have to keep in mind is our usual condition of the perfect market is that the long run marginal cost is equal to the price. It intersects at the same point because by definition, we cannot do better on a higher portion when the long run marginal cost is above the price level we're making losses and below it we have room for improvement the same logic that we apply to the short run that, that and um, yeah that would be it that, that would be everything related to the long run condition keep in mind the rationale why the average cost is falling and then rising because of this reasoning with a fixed cost that it becomes completely spread out and there's like no more effect on of it on the average cost the long run marginal cost equals to the price and just understand the concept of zero economic profit in the long run competitors enter until it is equally profitable to the alternative otherwise there would be an incentive to switch but because there's no more incentive to switch we are so to speak in the long run equilibrium hope this makes sense and we are done